Hello student, for this week experiment, we will be doing experiment 9, induction, magnet through a coil. The purpose of this experiment is to measure the electromotive force induced in a coil by a magnet dropping through the center of a coil. The equipment that we require are Science Workshop 750 Interface System, Voltage Sensor, Data Studio Program, Patch Cords, Solenoids, as well as Bar Magnet. When electricity is passed through a conducting wire, a magnetic field can be detected near the wire. This is something that you have learned in Chapter 6, which is Magnetic Field. In Chapter 9, you learn about Faraday's Law of Induction. Michael Faraday was the one of the first scientists to reverse the process. The essence of his work is described in the following statement. You can send electricity through a conducting wire to make a magnetic field. Is the reverse possible? Can you use a magnet and a conducting wire to make electricity? The answer for both questions are yes. When a magnet is passed through a coil, there is a changing magnetic flux through the coil, which induces an electromotive force or produces voltage in the coil. According to the Faraday's law of induction, the induced EMF is equal to negative N delta phi over delta t. E here is the induced EMF and is the number of turn of wire in the coil and the rate of change of flux is given by this expression. So, if you take a look at this um, animation, we can see that when the magnet bar is being brought nearer to the coil, we can see deflection in the needle of our voltmeter, showing that there are induced EMF or produced voltage inside of the coil. The procedure of our experiment, we use the voltage sensor to measure the voltage EMF induced in a coil as a bar magnet moves through the coil. Use Data Studio to record, display, and analyze the data. You can read through part 1, which is computer setup. Moving on to part 2, which is sensor calibration and equipment setup. In this case, we have the coil, and then we have to connect the coil to our Science Workshop interface using the alligator clips. Part 3 is data recording. And let's take a look at the data that we can obtain going through the process. This is going to be the graph shown by the um, Data Studio program. And then you will see this kind of graph where we have the curve below the horizontal axis and curve above the horizontal axis. These axes represent voltage versus time. As you can see here, as represented by the animation, initially there will be zero voltage or zero current, but as the magnet is near to the coil, the current rises and then it will uh, decreases and then it will also increase and decreases in the opposite direction. This is the representation and large view of the graph as well as the animation. We have two areas below as well as above the horizontal line which is showing the direction of current or voltage. 
initially the voltage produced is going to be around the negative region of the voltage and then afterward the voltage is going to be at the positive region of voltage the area or the integration the first and the second peak will be provided in the lab report what you have to do is calculate the percentage difference given by the equation